Welcome back to the OSM channel. So I recently made a video titled, Should You Tarp Your Firewood Stack? And basically the question I was trying to answer in that video was, does firewood season faster when tarped or left untarped and exposed to the elements? Now, a few viewers have had some issues with my testing methods and they may have a point. So I plan to retest the theory today and improve my testing methods according to my viewer's standards. So what were the issues with my testing methods? Well, for one, when I was probing the wood with my moisture meter, I was just probing the ends of the wood and viewers had an issue with that because they claimed it's not gonna give us an accurate internal moisture percentage. To find the accurate moisture percentage internally, we need to take the piece over to the splitter, split it in half, and then probe you know, an internal fresh split side of the wood. So we're gonna do just that. Aside from that, another issue my viewers had was when I was probing the stacks, I was just probing you know, the perimeter of the stack. I wasn't probing any internal pieces. And you know what, you guys do have a point there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna climb up on this ladder, go into the covered side, go about two feet down, pull out two pieces, label them. I'll do the same thing on the uncovered side. Dig down about two feet, pull out two pieces, label them as well. Then we're gonna take those four pieces of wood over to the splitter, split them in half, probe them internally, and see if there's any kind of different results compared to what we found in our previous video. So I have everything laid out now. These are the two covered pieces and these are the two uncovered pieces. Covered piece number one, covered piece number two, uncovered piece number three, uncovered piece number four. I tried to have two slightly smaller pieces and then two slightly larger pieces. I tried to get everything as close as possible. So I also brought out the whiteboard and we're gonna document what kind of moisture percentages we get and that should pretty clearly spell out the data. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my moisture meter and I'm gonna probe onto the face of all these pieces. So we're gonna take an external reading is what I'm calling it. So we're just gonna probe in, uh, plug those readings into the top part of our chart here. And then I'm gonna split each one of these pieces and do that internal moisture measurement. And then we'll plug that into the internal uh, section of the chart. And we'll see what kind of results we get. Piece number one, external, I'm gonna say 12.3. Piece number two, 12.8. Uncovered, piece number three, 14.8. And uncovered, piece number four, 15.2. So thus far, the covered wood is ahead, you know, averaging maybe 12.5 moisture percentage, as where the uncovered wood, you know, our external probing has left the uncovered wood with an average of about 15% moisture. So the covered wood is definitely ahead at this point. I'm really curious to see what happens when we split these in half and probe internally, what kind of results we're gonna see. We're about to find out. All right, now starting with covered piece. Piece number one, we're gonna split this in half, probe it internally. significantly higher wow 23.4 you guys were right I'll give you that covered piece number two probably gonna be like 25 isn't it twenty five point eight wow I was not expecting that. Moving on to the uncovered piece. This is piece number three. We had 14.8 before. That's way up there. I'm gonna say 29.4. And our final test piece, this is uncovered piece number four. Uh, 
So externally, we were at 15.2 for piece number four. Internally, 20, it's bouncing around, I'd say 28, 28.7. So from this data set, what can we conclude? Well, I can safely conclude that covering my firewood stack will allow it to season faster. You know, we look at the covered stack versus the uncovered stack. The external readings, the moisture percentage readings were lower for the covered stack compared to the uncovered stack. And then when we took our internal readings, again, although the internal readings were much higher, they were still quite a bit lower compared to the uncovered stack. So again, covering the top of your stack, at least in my area, does encourage it to season faster. And this may vary from person to person, depending on your average humidity levels, whether you're near a body of water, how much wind and airflow you get. I mean, there's a ton of variables. So at least in my case, I can confirm that covering my wood stack does allow it to season faster. Aside from that, what else have we learned? Well, the biggest thing I've learned today is that just probing the end of a piece of firewood with a moisture meter does not give you an accurate moisture percentage reading. What you really have to do, as you viewers suggested, and thank you for the suggestion, you have to split that piece in half, probe it internally to really see what the internal moisture percentage is. I think it's great that we can have a constructive conversation, redo the experiment, and get some good test results, and this is just beneficial for everybody. Now I gotta put this stack back together. The things I do for you guys. Thanks for watching.